Hello everyone, welcome back here is Van Amsen with another uh, life coding uh, adventure. So uh, whether you are here to learn or just enjoy some quality coding, I promise today's session is packed with knowledge, uh, nuggets uh, you won't uh, want to miss. So uh, before we dive uh, into uh, deep water of coding, let's take a moment to understand our challenge for today. So imagine you are uh, the tech lead for a major a theater chain, and they need a system to manage seat reservation. So sim, uh, simple, yep. Uh, but here is the challenge. Every time a reservation is made, uh, it should uh, always be the smallest number seat that's available possible. Uh, so let's break this down with an example. So consider a scenario with five seats. And the first person come in, uh, they get seat number one, obviously. Another reservation, that's seat number two. But wait, what if someone cancel their reservation for seat number two and another person want to book uh, this uh, seat? So they should get seat two, not three, uh, as it's the lowest number available uh, seat. Uh, so feeling the complexity, so don't worry, together we will solve this uh, one. So, uh, when faced with such problem, it's crucial to pick the right tool. So for our challenge, we will employ the power of heaps, uh, specifically a minimum heap, and this magical structure will help us uh, keep track of uh, unreserved seats, but uh, that's not all. To make our solution uh, slick, and efficient, we will also use a counter. So, all right, uh, enough talking, let's translate our plan into code. So I will uh, start by implementing uh, our uh, provided uh, seat class manager. So we will keep track of the last uh, reserve uh, seat using last and use uh, PQ for priority queue. So we'll start uh, with uh, init method, then go to reserve and unreserve. So let's implement. Uh, init. So in init, uh, we have uh, self, last it will be zero, and self pq. Uh, yeah. Q. Okay. So now uh, for the reservation, uh, if our priority queue is empty, meaning no unreserved seat, we will simply increment our last and return it. Uh, if there are unreserved seats, we will uh, pop the smallest uh, one then. So if not self PQ, self last plus one and return self last. Hip pop self PQ. As simple as uh, this. And now uh, going to uh, unreserved, so finally unreserved method. So we will check uh, if the seat is being unreserved and is uh, the latest one. So if so, we will decrement our last. And if not, uh, that seats uh, go back to our uh, priority queue. So if seat number equal self last, so seat number is last, uh, self last, we decrement uh, last seat. Otherwise, uh, hip, hip pq, hip push self pq seat number. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, a coder job isn't complete without a rigorous testing. So, let's see our uh, seat manager in action. So, I will run it for given test cases. Hopefully it will pass. So yeah, we have uh, yeah, initialization of our class, a reserve, a reserve, uh, unreserve, reserve, reserve, unreserve, and so on. Uh, so this is uh, the output. So yeah, all looks, uh, all looks good. So now time for uh, submitting it for unseen test cases uh, as well. So hopefully it will pass and yeah, all good. And as you can see, our implementation bit uh, 
93.7% uh, with respect to runtime and also 92 with uh, respect to memory. So it's uh, really efficient. I think uh, I previously implemented it and it was even faster by yeah a few milliseconds giving uh, almost 98 or something percent. I think, yeah, I have it uh, somewhere here. So yeah, good, even, uh, yeah, as you can see, 98% uh, beating. So probably it uh, yeah, differ between runtimes, but yeah, as you can see now, uh, 370 milliseconds. So basically it's quite optimal. So 370 milliseconds beating 98% and 95 with respect uh, with uh, memory. So all good. So uh, yeah, perfect. And uh, if you're interested in other implementation uh, rather than uh, Python, uh, I will also provide you a link in the description to implementation in Go, Rust, uh, C++ and more. Uh, so yeah, Rust implementation is quite fast. I think it's one of the fastest apart from uh, yeah, Java, uh, but yeah, with respect to memory, both memory and runtime, I think Rust is the, the fastest. So getting just 55 milliseconds and also uh, 28 with respect to memory. So really efficient, yeah, beating 100% with uh, respect to Rust. So yeah, and uh, with that, we wrap up uh, another Trilink uh, coding session. I hope you took uh, away not just a solution, but also the logic and reasoning uh, behind it. And remember, coding isn't just about finding a solution. It's about finding uh, the best one and it's a path uh, of progressing uh, programming journey. So if you enjoyed uh, that uh, today's session, uh, do hit uh, the like button and consider subscribing. Uh, yeah, so every algorithm, uh, every line of code is a step in your journey of uh, continuous learning. So until next time, uh, keep those uh, neurons firing, happy coding, and see you next time.